Lord knows that we can't stop backing up. So we pass these laws. Edging this down while I might say this clock. Roe versus way right a genocide on. People convinced that what's right is not wrong. Government's happily erasing God. Why are we looking for life? Not Mars. When we don't respect life on our What? <laughs> what? Who? 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 Who writes stuff like that? You know, like, man. who? Who does that? That's what's who up, does though. That? I mean, we need you to be talking about this stuff, man. Man, really? Why yeah. are we looking for life on Mars? <laughs> <laughs> we don't respect life on ours. Man, that stuff cuts like a knife. You just got to take it. You can't. What are you going to do? <laughs> you going to dodge it? You going to move to the side? What are you going to do? Yeah, man. It's already out there. That's one of my faves right there. Man, Straight what? Straight up. <laughs> like, that's... I like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man. Jacob Washington anyway. is, is our guest, and um, <laughs> he loves the Lord. And man, let me let me just say this: to me, it's it's um, it's a nice extra that he's using his gifts to to glorify God yeah. and um, and to bring awareness to some social issues, but not just to say that there are some social issues, mm-hmm. <laughs> but right. to also provide a solution. And so, I really appreciate mm-hmm. that, Jacob. Welcome back. Um, this is Aaron mm-hmm. Addison's Urban Family Talk. Glad to have you with us. Yeah, glad to be here. Glad to be here. Um, so, so, so listen, you know, when you, when you take a step back and you look at sort of how you have grown in your music and, you know, as you've been doing this for a while, what are some of the changes that you have either intentionally made or just, you, you found those changes happening maybe as you've had to kind of draw a darker line, um, between what you do for the Lord and, and what is considered maybe mainstream music? Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's, it's funny because I think like a lot of people, um, look at uh, Christian music or Christian rap or whatever you want to call it, they look at it as, uh, you know, uh, cheesy. I mean, I'll tell you a lot of people that I know have told me that and have felt that that were, that were not, you know, uh, uh, avid listeners of Christian music, Christian hip-hop. So I think one of the biggest things I, I've, I've kind of learned or taken from it um, over time with the message and the music is that they both have to coincide. You can't just have a dope track and mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah and, and and just spit whatever on it and just say Jesus loves you because that's it you know like you Come I on. think coming with some kind of art form and some kind of uh you know something that's going to appeal to people who do not know who Jesus is or who do not care who Jesus is like mm-hmm. how are we going to hook those people how are we going to you know meet those people's needs of we know they need Jesus but we we know it it takes strategy it takes you know parables it takes all these things to get people to wake up you know mm-hmm. um so for me that that's one of the biggest things i've learned is how to really i think over time from like the first song i ever recorded to to now is to really uh hopefully you know just mold those songs uh, a little bit better so that they're they're really palatable but they're really giving you the, the truth as well you know yeah, and you can hear that. Right. You can hear that in your music. And so right now, before we continue, because in, in our online chat, we have people wanting to know um, where they can mm-hmm. get your music. One of the things I think we have to do is because, you know, it seemed like you got a little bit of African. Um, I'm just kidding. But your name is not <laughs> spelled J- <laughs> J-A-C-O-B. It's spelled differently. You know how we do. So can you tell people how to spell yeah. your name so they can pop this? Yes, because everybody gets it wrong. So um, <laughs> J-E apostasy K-O-B. And that is my way of spelling my birth name that is J-A-C-O-B. Ah, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So your parents didn't do that to you. Okay. No, I did not do that. I did not I'm just playing with you. I'm just playing. You know, we do that sometimes. You know, we take our kids and we're like, you know, want to name them Latanya, but we'll spell it like L-A-C-K-T-B. Like, that's not Latanya. You're like, that's Latanya in Swahili. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, Latanya in Swahili. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> right. okay, I'm sorry. Right. So it's J E apostrophe K O B. And where can they go to down, download this latest project? How can they get it? Uh, they can get it. At, you know, all all the online uh, stores like okay. iTunes, Google Play, uh, Amazon MP3, and then you also can get it in stores if you have any local like family Christian bookstores or awesome. online at BarnesandNoble.com. I think they carry physical copies as well. Awesome. Awesome. Fantastic. Awesome. Yeah. So tell me this, Jacob, how do you um, define success? Like what, what are your goals in, in your music? I think we may have just talked about that a little bit here, but when you look at where you want to go with what you're doing, what are your objectives? Uh, okay. So defining success, I mean, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just say a line from one of my songs uh, uh, in my previous album, Faith, Hope and Love. 
Uh, it's called dreams, and I just I say success is a mindset, not a bank statement, not a Bentley, not a Range Rover with 22s and accessories and the leather seats. I know it feels better. So I think like that's my that's kind of my definition of success. It's a mindset. It's not, you know. I think I see some people that are like super uh, happy in their life. They just they found it. You know what I mean? You know they have it. They whether they're just like I meet a lot of people. I surf I surf a lot and go to the beach a lot and. A lot of these people, like, they have a happiness that uh, does not derive from money or things that are going to pass away. You know, it doesn't derive from that. It derives from an innermost being of understanding, hey, you know, I know who I am. I know why I'm created. It's a peace. You know, there's there's uh, there's so much peace in understanding your purpose and why you're here. And so success has nothing to do with money. It has nothing to do with, you know, your car you drive or you know, uh, said earlier accolades that you get and all that stuff. I mean, those are all great, and those are all, you know, cher- cherry on the on the pie or whatever you want to call it. But mm-hmm. it's definitely not the definition of success. And, yeah. But um, don't you feel yeah, that so for Paul, me? Though, too, go ahead, that? Jacob. Let me. Well, I was just going to follow up. Don't you feel that pull though? And I, I just can't imagine that in 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 making music and making great music. Do you feel that pull that you you know? to be validated by the world standard of what is good music. How do you, you, how do you deal with that? Because I would imagine that the temptation is great. Yeah, I think, I mean, I definitely think it is. I mean, I'm not, you know, I I would be lying and and not human to say it wasn't. I I think Mm -hmm. for me, like what I do is deliberately try to talk about it. Uh, I always say this, you know, I'm talking to myself first. So everything I'm writing, Mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what it is. Like you can't, no one can tell me I'm not talking to myself because I know I'm talking to myself first. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like everything's pointing at me first and, and you know, how I know I need to be, and I'm sharing that with the world. Um, that's how we all, you know, uh, need to be in what God, in what God's word says. So for me, um, you know, I, I look at all those things like success specifically and, you know, having that accolade or that, that status or, or whatever it is. Um, I try to write myself out of that picture as much as possible. Like, I have two projects called Pocketless Souls, and I, I wrote a book that went along with it last year that you can get um, on my website, jacob.com. And it's, I talk a lot about, just a whole lot about this whole financial and money. I mean, when mm-hmm. I first got married, a huge, I had a huge burden in my heart of you know, just all these thoughts of like, oh man, you know, I got I to gotta do this, I got to do that. All these things that were based on, not on me and God and what I know God and trust God for, but based on like what, what the world says you're supposed to wow. do or need to do. Wow. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I kind of, you know, I write myself out of it as much as I can. And it's what, why I started the project, Pocket with Souls, uh, which is two projects in now. And I think I'm going to kind of continue it and just keep doing it because I think it really, it helps people like me who needed that. I needed a lot of um, guidance when it came to my mindset on how, you know, how I view money and how I view uh, success and all of those things. I really, I really wanted to to be successful in God's eyes, not in the world's eyes. So mm-hmm. I, I try to keep perpetuating that in my life, in my music, and and um, you know, to the point that I don't, I don't try to think about it as much now. I don't, I don't really care. I think it's, mm-hmm. you know, I know God is going to take care of things, and I just got to live right. So. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Let me just underscore the website is Jacob.com, J-E-K-O-B, Jacob.com. There you can find out more about Jacob. Um, He's got some products there. The book that he mentioned is there. Um, Also, you can find out uh, tour dates and things of that nature. J-E-K-O-B.com, Jacob.com. I highly recommend that you check it out. Um, So, so Jacob, I hear a lot of mention, you know, in, in one way or another on this project, uh, there's mention of social issues and there, there are mentions of these issues that are really affecting um, the life of the believer, the things that we have to look at, things that we have to deal with. We find the church wrestling with how do, how do we deal with issues of life and, and, you know, those kinds of things. And, and there may be somewhat of a raw approach to this that you've taken. Why? Uh, <laughs> urgency, I think. Urgency is the only word I can mm. I can use for it, man. I mean, I think, you know, um, I w- you know, one, one one topic I'll talk about just because it's just it's so many different topics, and, and we could talk all day about it. But one one major topic that I think is, uh, I would say, I would say it's the the top topic that's happening in the world today that that people kind of really you know brush under the rug because of politics mm-hmm. and everything else. But um, is abortion? You know, I mean, yes. you're talking about you're simply talking about scientific fact. I mean, we, it's always been known that conception is, that's when life begins. You know, it, it, this is just a, 
it's a scientific fact. I mean, this is when a, the being becomes created and starts to, uh, uh, you know, live and become. And so I start, I say things in the, in the album and in the song Life on Mars, specifically kind of poking at, you know, this is ridiculous. Like I'm, and I, you know, it's kind of weird how God does everything, but it all works together with, you know, timing. Cause I'm, I, I just had a baby and just kind yeah, of all of those yeah. thoughts, like, you know, I'm, I'm putting together a, a crib and I'm, um, you know, we're we're <laughs> we're buying all this stuff for a baby, not for mm-hmm. a fetus, not for a possible baby, right. not for a, you know, it, this is this is what people do every day all around the world, and it's it's only, um, you know, I, I, I know what it is, you know what it is, we know that evil influences things, and this is what yeah. where where the world has 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 went, you know, but I think without voices or people speaking up against it. I mean, we've got to date over, over, I don't know what it is, 55 or more million people. You know, these are people, human beings that have been uh, snuffed out, terminated. You know, right. I mean, what is the, ter- what is the, 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 you know, people hate to say murder or that it was, you know, someone, someone was killed or whatever in that scenario, but what does terminate mean? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly right. I mean, I mean and, yeah. Uh, you know, it, ten years ago we wrote a song uh, called I think it was called Life or something under this the, the other group soldiers that we were in and uh, I don't know if it was my brother's verse I can't remember my memory fuzzy was back that far but um, so one of the lines was you know if the baby's not alive then why do you have to kill it That's right mm-hmm. you know? That's right mm-hmm. If it's not a baby so, you then know, you're not it, pregnant Right <laughs> <laughs> To me it's common sense It's common sense We're we're, we're just losing common sense. Yeah. I love it. I mean, wow. that song, Life on Mars, that, I mean, you just, you kind of come come out of the gate like the finish line is in sight and I'm going for it. Don't let them find one organism and got the nerve to call that life, yet that say yet they say that my baby's not alive until it lives outside my wife. That right there mm-hmm. smacks me in the face. I'm a mother of four <laughs> children. I'm just like, man, you know, because here's the thing, and we are so involved in in, in social issues. This is what we do in talking about the, the church's response, yeah. the response of the Christian. So so I feel like I've heard all of the arguments. You know how you can yeah. get so familiar with what you do that you think, well, right. I know what all of the arguments are, what all the defenses are. Yeah. I have to admit to you, when I heard right. that in my house, sitting at my dining room table, because Will came home and he was like, Miki, I'm turning this on, and he just, he just blasted it in the house. And so as I was listening to it, yeah. I kind of did this, wait. Rewind that? What did he say? Like, what did he? I've not heard that before. I have not. I mean, just to to reconcile that, how people are so eager, they're looking for life. If they find one thing, anything that appears, that they're calling it life. But then they say, right. "Man, I'm telling you, Jacob, look." look. <laughs> Jacob.com. Y'all go to Jacob.com. Check it out. One of the things. That, let me let me tell you one of my favorite things about this website. There's a lot to like about it, but I like that he's got the lyrics to his music right on the website. Yeah, yeah right there. Sounds great. So you can fake yourself out and pretend like you really know the lyrics. You don't. You're just looking at the words and singing along. I'm telling you, it's just, <laughs> it's amazing. I love the risk that you're taking in this music. And speaking of risk, here is my question. Do you feel like there was a possibility that you could be ostracized because you've taken such a hard stance on these social issues? It's not the kind of wording that people want to hear nowadays, Jacob. Uh, yeah, but again, I mean, you know, it's it's a matter it's a matter of where you find your happiness and and where you where you uh, you know pinpoint what is success to you, you know. And so again, if I was if I was going for people's you know applause, then then yeah, I, it would affect me a lot a lot differently. But honest to God, I'm not, it doesn't. I, I'm making music because I feel like God told me to make music, so I, that's why I'm making it. If not, I, there's a lot of other things I can do, and there's a lot of other things that I do do in my life, you mm-hmm. know, that mm-hmm. uh, bring me happiness. And, and um, you know, I, I'm perfectly fine if I could never write another note, and that was what God wanted. Then I, I don't. It's, I'm not going to cry about it. You know what I mean? It's, it's, Come on, man. I'm just doing what He called me to do. So, amen, mm-hmm. amen. Man, amen. Awesome. I'm, I'm loving this. Will you loving this? Yes. yes. Of course. What about you? Yes. What about Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Hey, let me I say know, this. I know right you quick. were digging that success is a mindset. Oh, um, man. Come on. <laughs> You already know. You on that. <laughs> Jacob, man, I just want to say the uh, I'm a I'm a designer. I'm a web designer, and so I absolutely 100 percent love your website. That was the first thing that jumped out to me. Oh, is your website, you, and thank then secondly, yeah, I, I, I do I do web design and graphic design as well, man. That's, I've been doing that for a long time. Y'all really? want us to give y'all a minute? Y'all, need, is it okay <laughs> really? for us to be here while y'all discuss y'all love for you know websites? What? We we gotta we gotta connect, bro. We gotta connect. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's great. It's great, man. Let's let's take a break. We'll come back. We got uh, Jacob Washington with us, hanging out um, from California in California right now. Cali got a new baby. You yeah. know they're not sleeping.
<laughs> y'all keep them y'all keep them lifted up in prayer you know Amen. they ain't getting no Amen. sleep they at each other's throats right now you go get him no you go get him fresh, fresh off I just from uh, fresh <laughs> there you go there you go check your fingers Jacob check your fingers oh, oh, this is Erin the Addison <laughs> on Urban Family Talk this life this life from the project this side of the sky we'll be right back we all in the dark looking for that light it's in the word of God Christ. See, most people, they don't want to learn. They claim the Bible is a hoax, but they ain't